Oh, I got you crazy. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Let's go back to these Bible verses <laughs> and uh, <laughs> let's think and grow rich. Wow, I like it. That's one way to get rich. You bought a book for six ninety nine. That's whoever wrote this. He's rich. I, n- Pocket party. Here we go, and we're back. Brian Swinehart, Swine time. What's up, buddy? I haven't seen you in uh, 11 months. This is the week that I got to see. I hadn't seen you in almost a year, and we got to play in El Paso, Texas. It was awesome, man. The great. shows were great. So great to get back. He's packing his room. This is what a comics room looks like. See, so you got to be healthy. You got to have like your blueberries and your oranges and your apples. And we already uh, threw away the uh, yeah, well, <laughs> the delicious Mexican food we yeah, finally found. We you know, ate some, and then we. Did have some water burger too while we were here, right? Yeah, that was good. That Mexican place was weird, like as far as I, I couldn't really read the menu. You know, remember you guys were in the car and I ran in there. I go, oh, I'm just gonna get, and then I go, yes, I'd like a chicken burrito. And then it was like the whole menu was in Spanish. And then I heard her say, basically, they don't have burritos there. They only have like flautas and uh, I think quesadillas or something. But it was like in Spanish. But I was just like, oh, flauta, <laughs> yeah. dude. It was hilarious because the opening act, Julian, is Mexican. He's from here. He was looking at the menu like, oh, my gosh, there's so many choices. His face was like this. And your face was like worried, like, what in the <laughs> world? I don't know what to get. Right? Am I right? Cause, I didn't know what to get. Because you think you do. But he told me what to get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Flauta. Flauta. Yeah. So I see. I like all your clothes here. You, got your, you bring the books on the road. That's good. What do you got here? You got... Oh, that's a good one. Think and grow rich. Then you got like a daily, what is it, like a daily devotional Bible uh, verse or something? Yeah, it's like uh, you read one every day Yeah. for every day of the year. That's cool. Yeah. You know what, man? I did. The, I performed at this church recently, and I liked the, one of the quotes they said was from Proverbs, and it said, a merry heart is, uh, uh, um, yeah, a merry heart is like a medicine to the body. Something like that. Like a merry heart is good for the body like a medicine. Yeah, well, remember Mary yeah. Hart that used to be on Entertainment Tonight? No. Oh, there's a lady named Mary Hart. She used to be on mm. Entertainment Tonight. Yeah. Yeah, me. You know, that wasn't good for anybody. <laughs> okay. That show sucks. Yeah. Yeah. But we're saying that having a merry heart is good for a person, you know? Oh, yeah. And not having a merry heart is like, they said it makes your bones dry and brittle. Like Joe Biden. Or something like that. I don't know. Hey, so give us some more of these Bible scriptures that you're... Who, did you buy this book or did someone give it to you? Oh, a friend gave it to me. Okay, okay cuz I before we turn the camera on I go, "Hey, do some Bible scriptures." And you kind of you seem like you weren't that into it. But you at least you brought it on the road, so so that's I read good. It. I don't yeah. I don't have anything memorized. I mean, I, Oh, yeah, you're not supposed to memorize it. I mean, here, here let's pick a date. Let's uh let, what do we got for uh, uh what's your birthday? August 13th. See what see what August 13th is. August 13th. Yeah. The next Messiah was born, August 13th, 1979. Mm. This is the man who will save the world. <laughs> the resurrection has come. His name is B. Swine. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, wow. Okay, wow. maybe it doesn't say that, but okay. it should. <laughs> That's funny. Well, you're good. Okay, here's one passage. It says, yeah. run straight to the goal with purpose in every step. Corinthians nine two six. I like that one. That's good. That's good. What about my birthday, June third? Let's look up June third. June third. Oh, so you when you go to bed, you sleep on the left side of the bed. You don't take up the whole bed. No, not really. I mean, I you know. June third. Yeah. On this day, you will need a flashlight to see your way through. <laughs> <laughs> I love my flashlight on. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this guy's a professional comedian. <laughs> okay. Do not cheat or rob anyone. Always pay your hired workers promptly. Leviticus. Okay, here's one for Proverbs. Proverbs. The Lord demands fairness in every business deal. He sets the standard. And the topic for your day is work. Wow. Because on each day they have a topic. Mine oh. is victory. That's cool. Yeah, so it's listening. Like, you know, April 16th, just for instance, is panic. April 17th is trouble. So, wow. you know. Interesting. Yeah, that's cool. Friend that's cool. That to me. So I, we, I haven't seen you in a year. What, what have you been up to? So this whole last year, you got off social media, all of 2021. Mm-hmm. You only did YouTube. Yeah, I had to did YouTube a little bit, but YouTube banned yeah. me for three months. So I didn't really even do it that much. Yeah. I did a few videos here and there with my dog and a couple yeah. stuff that's too too risque to post mm-hmm. on this channel. Thank you. Because I don't want you to get banned <laughs> like I yeah. did. Yeah. So, uh, um, but yes, yeah, so I took the year off. I deactivated. Uh, I, 
uh, man, I don't even want to go back on it again. Wow. Yeah, I I, uh, I realized like um, what a, a it's a waste of time. We all know that, but like think about it. You have all these people on your things, right? And what? How many people? You call me almost every day. I see my neighbors in Ohio, my mom. I mean, dude, I can count on less than, there's, <clears throat> I can count on my eight fingers. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> How many people I, so, you know, most of it's just wasted space. And then you're off social media. And then I, um, you know, I got big gig coming up in Fargo. So I, I react, you know, the new year has been yeah. one year. I was like, well, I mean, and plus all the comics were on me, not all the comics, but some of my comedy yeah. friends were like, dude, you got to keep it going. It's promotion and it's this and that. And I'll tell you, it, that is true because I can see how it helps promote, right? Mm -hmm. But Brian, as a person, was a lot better off without social media. Yeah, there's no doubt about. Because I think I told you about that, right? Be be a creator, not a consumer. Yeah, don't, don't just creator. waste hours and hours and hours looking at like pretty girls on these sites. Yeah, you know? and that's what they're designed to do, and that's yeah. what. So, um, but you know, um, even even the, since I reactivated it like yesterday, I put it back up. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, dude, I can just see how, you know, I don't want to follow anybody or as little, you know, because, I mean, maybe Colby Covington because he's a cool MMA fighter, right? Yeah, but yeah, I, yeah, yeah. But, um, but you know, uh, it just sucks, dude. It's like, um, yeah, I, I don't know. I'm torn. I'm torn whether to even go back on it or, you know, yeah. I think I'll just, just kind of use it. Maybe stick with YouTube and Instagram. That's my main, well, you know. Well, I mean, promoting my shows. I don't yeah. really like... Well, I think that for me, I think the better platforms are Getter and um, and uh, Rumble. Is Getter is that is that Larry the Cable Guy? Getter done. <laughs> yeah, Getter get done. Getter done. Yeah. There's almost there's almost too many platforms now. Like that's like, good. I, you want it to? I, wanted, I guess. I, I, guess I, want, yeah. I want more platforms because why go to one that's owned by Mark Zuckerberg? I want that guy. You to want fail. It, You want it to be like I want them, so many where look, you can like the world's yeah. better off if Zuckerberg fails because you don't want there to be just like one. Like, why one yeah. guy in control? Yeah, like if there's censoring all, the speech of yeah. of of, of, uh, of people who don't agree with him. Why? It'd be I'm like if a, you could only get burgers from like one company. Yeah, you do. So thank some God there's like competition. Some people like Burger King. I like rallies, and rallies is like only in Ohio and a couple other places, right? So I don't want to be uh, – everybody who is speaking the truth gets mm. censored on the mainstream uh, social medias. The Instagram, uh, Facebook, and all these places, YouTube, they're going to censor anybody who's telling the truth. Because you notice on YouTube, you're allowed to say Bigfoot exists. Right. But you can't question other things. I got you. I got you. It's pretty clear Bigfoot don't exist. Yeah. So it's like, well, you're allowed to say that because it's, you know. Yeah. So, anything, so you found yourself being happier when you were like away from this for a year. You're like, yes, yeah. my life was better. I realized, and you got some stuff done too, right? I wrote a script. Yeah. I'm writing my book. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I wrote. The What's best. the book about? The book is called um, Good Luck with the Girls. Mm. And I came up with that title because at my mom's house, I went to my mom's house and I still had all these <clears> pictures <throat> from mm -hmm. my friends back in high school and three different girls from high school. On the back of the picture that they wrote to me, they said, good luck with the girls. Oh. And I don't think that, I was like, what a weird thing that they would write with me. But that's how I've always been. Since yeah. I was a little kid, I've kind of still been the way I am now, right? With, like, meeting girls or whatever, going yeah. to different towns. And, and, you know, so I always had good stories about it. So, basically, the book is... You were like the class flirt, in other words. Well, maybe. I mean, some, most other guys are better at it than me. But, mm. uh, but uh so uh, 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 the book is in present time, but it flashes back to <clears throat> all my experiences from the beginning. Yeah. To my first three girlfriends, because I had three girlfriends at once as my first girlfriend. They were cousins, and they were all my girlfriends at one time. They said, and I said, wow. so, yeah, yeah. And then they broke up with me because uh, I lost one of their rings. They gave me rings from the. How old were you at that time? Maybe second or third grade. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah very like, innocent. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then. Uh, um, and cause I remember that they had all given me a ring from like the quarter machine, you know, remember yeah, those? yeah, yeah, yeah. And then my mom came in my room one day and I was on a Sunday and I was like panicking, looking through my sheets and she was, what's wrong? I said, I can't find one of my rings. And she started laughing, you know, because I had, you know, yeah. So, uh, so it flashes back to all the things and there's been a lot of drama, a lot of tragedy. Um, and I'm writing about all of that. And know. with the movie script, is it about your father? Yeah, my yeah. dad. My, the movie script's about this uh, murder trial my dad had back in 1985. Mm. And um, 
it's insane, man. Oh, and things are good. You you left L.A. You lived in Ohio for a while. Oh and, yeah, Ohio was awesome. Mm -hmm. In fact, yeah. uh, that's the best thing that happened because. I mean, okay, I will tell you this. I don't know much, yeah. like I said, about the Bible, but there's that one story of Joseph where um, he, uh, he, uh, <clears throat> his brothers sell him off as a slave, and then they come back later, and he, and they think he's going to, like, punish them, and he's like, no, if you wanted to sell me as a slave, I want to be able to give you guys all this food to take mm. back to dad now because I became the Pharaoh's right-hand man and whatever, you know? And that's how I feel about this, uh, what happened in California, you know, because California, in my opinion, was treating people awful. And, you know, I'm not going to tolerate that. So I went back to uh, my roots and I had awesome because I went back to my hometown. And I was like, man, I never seen a place that looked more beautiful. Mm. And then I felt more in love with the people of my town than even ever before because yeah. they let you be you. I mean, it's a small town, so there's kind of restrictions. You're not a lot of you know comedy gigs right you yeah. can do like one a year because the town's only 2,000 people right yeah and there's I can't really get away with much in front of my hometown crowd because if you try to like exaggerate a little bit hey that's just really how it happened I remember <laughs> <laughs> we were there <laughs> we were there <laughs> so, yeah, and so now you're living in Florida so yeah then I move uh, now I'm in Florida now I'm gonna be going back to Ohio a lot but I'm living in Florida uh, place called Boca Raton the comedy that's nice. clubs, the comedy clubs are open life's open uh, in Florida, I find a lot more people that think the way I do. And, and you just filmed a movie last week. Yeah. Tell us a little movie. bit about that. Yeah. So I got uh, this part, um, and uh, it's pretty cool. It's a short movie, but it was well done, like yeah. professional. I like the intention of the movie. The story was yeah, really – tell us a little bit about that storyline. I like that. So the storyline is uh, I, I just played a game – I just won a big money in poker, right? We are going uh, high, high stakes poker. I claim I made six hundred thousand in the game, six hundred six hundred twenty six thousand in the game, you know. And then I'm I'm going to my car and I'm oh, I'm happy, I'm showing off, you know. And and some guy says, Hey, uh good night at the table. I'm like, Yeah, great night. And it's a homeless dude, right? So I'm throwing my hundred dollar chip. I'm like, here's a hundred dollar chip, buddy, now you have a great night. And then um he's like, uh, I just wanna ride, you know, I just need a lift. I said, that's it, man. Okay, so I give him a ride, and I'm bragging about how great I'm doing and making the money, and I'm saying, I'm going to leave my wife, you know. Mm. I've been wanting to leave her. Now i got money to give her. I'm out. And then uh, he said, I, I don't know if that's a good idea. And then he knows all this story about me. You know, what about your son? I'm like, how do you know I have a son? You know what I mean? And then uh, he shows me, he takes me to this apartment, he, and I go, this is where you live? He goes, no, this is where your wife and son live if you get divorced, you know. Wow. And then uh, and then I look at that and it's all like you know they got a terrible life. I said, what happened to me? He goes, it's even worse. And I'm, I want to go home and then you know we take it from there. But that's pretty much the that's kind nice. Of the story. So yeah, so I got this cool part, man. And that's uh, cool. And you're living with uh, our buddy, and yeah. he's a director. Yeah, and he's, yeah. My, my director. So I think good Peter. things are going to happen for you, man. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna keep grinding. You know, yeah. like I, I'm not gonna let the Hollywood. Uh, yeah, you're setting up shows. You're doing good things. And, yeah, uh, I'm doing my own thing. I'm, I'm, I'm going to. You're getting people to come up to you after the show like I have never seen before. You know. Yeah, I'm getting a lot. Well, yeah. you know what it is, man. I decided because yeah. Hollywood was so mean to me, mm -hmm. and I tried to play their game, yes. uh -huh. and they treated me wrong. Hollywood right. owes me an apology, mm. and uh, <laughs> they owe me an apology. Yeah. A lot yeah. of people in California <clears throat> owe me. They yeah. owe me a personal apology, right. and the business in general owes me an apology. And the governor especially. Maybe it'll happen one day. They owe me an apology. Maybe. But you know what? I'm doing my own thing. Yeah. Because it's, it's you know. They, I like the army people, the military people that come up to you. What did they, they tell you again? The guy said. Well, I got uh, the Tonight Show. or all Yeah, yeah t t Tonight Show, there was two people. They said they didn't agree with one thing you said, but they liked you, though. Yeah, they liked me. They said, follow me. They get by and stuff mm -hmm. from me. I mean, I'm open in people's minds. Yeah, and then the other people, the military guys, are like, "Hey, I like what oh, you." Yeah, tell this us military more. guy come up and said, "Man, thank you for saying what you say." And I say to him, "Thank you for doing what you do to give me the freedom to say what I say." Yeah, that's and that's right. what it's all supposed mm. to be about—freedom yeah. of speech. And that's why I'm not going back to California. 
They're not letting people who have a different opinion yeah. say they won't even let you on stage if you think some of this stuff is going well, on ain't right. Well, Brian, I want to thank you for coming on my channel. And, oh, uh, I got too crazy. You know? <laughs> <laughs> you too thank thank you. Man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, let me be me, man. Yeah, be you. Come on let's go back to these Bible verses <laughs> and uh, let's think and grow rich. Wow, I like it. That's one way to get rich. You bought a book for six ninety nine. That's Whoever wrote this, he's rich. I, Napoleon... Napoleon Hill. Napoleon Hill. You know about that guy, right? Yeah. He was a radical. No, I'm just kidding. No, radical <laughs> I'm just joking. Thing, I'm just joking. Yeah. I like how I take a Bible verse. I say a Mary Hart. You're like, Mary Hart? You know about Mary Hart? I'm like, dude, just come on. Just take it together or whatever you go. But hey, I love you, buddy. You and too, uh, you're the best, man. I'm so happy that we got to do the road again. And me too, man. hopefully we'll do. Uh, I sure wish you would let me go the harder. I know. Do it on your channel, guys. Go follow him on his channel. Yeah, right. I come hard yeah. on my channel. <laughs> Oh, gosh. All right, buddy. I'm out, man. Have a good one. <laughs> that was hilarious. You're like, Hollywood's got to apologize to me and the governor. Oh, my gosh. All right, buddy. You're the best, man. See you. Take it easy, buddy. All right.